Good morning, this is Katie and today I'm going to talk to you about 10 reasons why I love China. So if we haven't met before, my name is Katie, me and my husband live in a place called Tianjin in China and we've been living here for two years now and I love it here. I love traveling China, I love living in China, so I want to tell you more about China and kind of break down some of those misconceptions you might have and talk to you about just why I love living here. But first of all, it is a Wednesday morning, my children have just gone to a Mandarin lesson. When I say my children, I mean my class and my colleague and friend Sarah has just popped through with a gift for breakfast. So one of the things I love actually, you know, I'm going to start with this now, one of the things I love about China is the people here because I think there's a really big misconception in the world that Chinese people can be rude and it's completely wrong and I'm going to just say that now, it's completely wrong. The people that I have met in China are absolutely fantastic. My TA Jessie has become my best friend. She's an amazing person, like through and through. Um, Sarah is the, the TA that works next door and she's such a wonderful, kind-hearted person. Honestly, there are so many lovely people that we've met here that I just can't see how that stereotype is true. But anyway, Sarah came through this morning and gave me a gift. This is already unwrapped. This is a like a dish it's actually dragon boat festival tomorrow and her mum makes these so she brought them through so i could try one this morning for breakfast okay so this normally comes wrapped up with a piece of string um, and what's in here is like what feels like sticky rice i think it's just rice mixed with like a red bean paste so i'm going to try it now it should be nice mm. Mm. that's nice it's really soft obviously it's kind of like um when you get, you know when you get rice here, they have a thing called congee where they kind of make rice really soft. They've made the rice really, really soft, like a paste almost, and then mix it with red bean. Jessie said that you can have this with like sugar, but to be honest, it's pretty sweet as it is. Okay, so breakfast is over with. Um, Jessie was saying that that snack is made every year for Dragon Boat Festival, and it's called Zhongji. I don't think that's being pronounced properly, but it's something like that. You get what I mean. Um, so that was really nice. Thanks so much, Miss Sarah, because they were amazing. Um, but I think kind of brings me on to my second reason why I love China is the food. Now, I'm from England and we do have Chinese food in England, but it is absolutely nothing like the Chinese food that you'll get in China. Um, and it's been so amazing to like open up my mind a little bit more to other types of food and it's not even just like different types of sauces or different types of in like dishes but it's also like different types of ingredients like for example and it sounds ridiculous but last night me and jesse went out for a really lovely meal we went to a place that did this amazing fish that was like in like a hot pot almost it was like a steamed hot pot fish and you could like try different vegetables with it you had try different like types of fish and we went to a seafood place actually a few months back as well and like in England I really didn't touch like fish at all I would have a bit of tuna a bit of salmon every so often but that's about it but because here in Tianjin it's a port city so there's so much fish here but across the whole of China fish is a really popular thing to eat um, and it's prepared in so many different types of ways that it's just amazing to try different types of food like that that I'm not used to having um, and I think here in China you can you can get such a variety of types of food like every region here because it is such a big country every province and every region have their own like speciality dish like if you're in Shanghai you can try their dumplings if you're in Beijing you can have their pecking duck like there's so much variety of food here across every area of China that when you travel China you can try the local dish there and it will be completely different to what you're ex like you're used to in the place that you live in um, and then on top of that they also have a lot of international food options as well like so where we live in Tianjin there's lots of Korean and Japanese people here so we have lots of those types of restaurants and the food is always amazing and delicious um, but also there's lots of Western food coming in as well like we even have a hard rock cafe now here in Tianjin um, but there's so many options here now and I think like we traveled China six years ago and when we traveled China back then there really wasn't options for like western food or you know other types of Asian food really like it was always kind of Chinese food or KFC but nowadays you really do have such a wide variety of food to try here like me and Callum one night we'll have Vietnamese one night we'll have Thai one night we'll have Chinese one night we might have like an Italian <laughs> when I say Italian I obviously mean pizza um but yeah so there's such a variety here now and I love being opened up to such a variety of Chinese food um, and that's one of the reasons why like me and Jessie have such a good relationship not just because of food but because she's an amazing person um, 
but also she loves taking me to restaurants like her favorite restaurants and making me try something new and it really does put me out of my own comfort zone because if you saw me six years ago when i first traveled southeast asia and china i like had just stopped being vegetarian and i never tried anything um but now i do and i'm so glad i did and like it, it is really one of the things i love about living in asia in general is such such an amazing variety of food here Okay, I'm taking a little break to show you my uh, coffee here. So this is Luckin Coffee, which is like, do you know what? I think there was like a thing the other day in the like news here in China that they overtook Starbucks in popularity and income or something. Did you hear that, Miss Jessie? Huh? Luckin Coffee beat Starbucks in income. Apparently Luckin Coffee in China is now bigger than Starbucks. Whether they mean like Starbucks in China, I don't know. Uh, I think the thing is like uh, people, I mean, um, if they only count people who go to the coffee shop, the Starbucks may win. But uh, this one, because people in working, right? Mm -hmm. So just any deliver. Starbucks doesn't deliver. Yeah. So they're not? No. Oh. So that's the problem. I was reading something the other day that said something like they had opened like I can't remember how many stores they opened so many stores. I think last year they were they opened like three stores a day or something stupid like that. Yeah, because like uh, they they did not really open the store that you can go to visit. It's like a deliver uh, center. Right. Okay. So they have to have because they can't get uh, every people want it. Right. Mm -hmm. They need to get it close to each other so they can deliver it. Right. Okay. So that's why they have a man now. Right. But I still prefer um, Lucky. You prefer Lucky? No, no, no. I still prefer uh, Starbucks. If I'm going to the coffee shop, I only go to Starbucks to have Americana. Okay. Yeah, that's only one Americana I really like it. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, um, me and Jessie have ordered ourselves a Luckin coffee um, today because we went out last night for dinner, so I'm a little bit tired today. Um, but yeah, one of the things I love about China is how convenient it is here. So you can, I think I've mentioned this before in a video, but there's an app called WeChat, um, but also lots of like places like Luckin Coffee have their own app as well, and you can get everything delivered to your door. Like, and I'm talking about everything. I'm not just talking about coffee. Like, I love the fact that I can get coffee delivered to my door. But you could also, there's an app called JD where you can get like groceries delivered within 45 minutes. Um, you can get, if you go onto places, websites like Taobao, which is like eBay, um, you can get things delivered in a few days. There's an app called JD, which is kind of like Amazon where you can get things delivered the next day. But like anything, like most things you'll be able to get within the hour and it's crazy. So like all restaurants and things like that are on this food delivery app. But then there's also like pharmacies and flowers and anything you can think of like the other day i felt really sick and i was sick i said like jess <laughs> jessie's amazing i think i said that a few times now <laughs> but i sent her a message like oh like, do you know anywhere that i can get some like like uh, medicine to make me feel better and she sent me the the name of it in chinese and i just searched it on the jd app and a pharmacy came up and they delivered it in like 30 minutes and it's so easy and convenient to use and like literally everything just comes to your door um and it's probably not a great thing because it means that like often things will come to our door instead of us going out for them like even like the other day i had a really weird craving for um like coca-cola cherry i don't know if it's like such a weird thing and we were having a movie night and i was like do you know what i'm gonna order coca-cola cherry and literally it came to the door in like 45 minutes um so everything can get to your door and it's such a, an easy convenient thing um and I think that's one of the biggest things like we we are actually going to be leaving China um, this year and that's one of the biggest things that I'm going to miss about China is how easy and easy and convenient like your like lifestyle can be here and even if you're traveling as well like you can still use the JD app and the WeChat app to get things delivered um, 
when we were in Shanghai, like we our school do a trip to Shanghai every year, and one of the days it was really really hot and I got sunburn, and because of the app I was able to order like、um, aloe vera to the hotel room, like because I was <laughs> like to help my、uh, burns. And it literally came so quickly, and it was like ten. Like that's the other thing as well is that there's so many like twenty four hour convenience stores that will deliver all twenty four hours a day. Funny enough,、um, but there's so much stuff that will like deliver to you at no matter what time of day it is. Like obviously restaurants have a ton of like like. Obviously, restaurants have certain times they can deliver, but there's like 24-hour shops on there that will deliver loads of stuff at any time of the day as well. So it's really helpful. It's really convenient, and there are so many options available. And that's something I love about China as well. <laughs> Right, so it's just past eleven. My children have had their break time. We had a really nice literacy lesson earlier. They're just finishing off their like big rights, which is like their assessment piece.、Um, and yeah, they've gone to a music rehearsal now at our school. We have like a summer gala this year,、um, so they've doing rehearsals for that. So that's quite nice. I have a free period, so I'm going to crack on with some more work. I've nearly, dare I say, it, I'm nearly done with reports. It's a very exciting times right now,、um, but yeah. So that's the what I need to be doing now.、Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you a bit as well about the cities in China. So I think I mentioned before that we go to a trip to Shanghai, and one of the things I love about China is how. Amazing and varied the cities are. So we live in a city called Tianjin, which is really kind of I, I want to call it sparse almost in the sense like it's a massive city, but it's it's and it's built up, but it's not like oh it's not too much. Do you know what I mean?、Um, it's quite a quiet city compared to like the bigger cities, and I really enjoy that about living here.、Um, you can still get all like your city conveniences, but at the same time, it's not like too busy. Um, but then you also have like Beijing on the doorstep. Like Beijing's thirty minutes away from us on the speed train, and it's such a like historical city. There's so much to do there. There's so much history there. There's so much culture there.、Um, there's some amazing restaurants there.、Um, but and it's but it's such a different city to places like Shanghai and Hong Kong. I would say they're quite like cosmopolitan cities almost. Um, and yeah, there's so there's such a variety.、Um, one of my favourite cities is actually a city called Chengdu, which you can visit to and see the pandas as well. They're awesome.、Um, but yeah, there's so many like varied cities here in China that there's always going to be somewhere that you will love. Like Harbin is an amazing city to visit in the winter to go to the ice festival.、Um, one of my favourite cities as well is Hangzhou. It's a beautiful city. Like it's so pretty. There's a beautiful lake there. And yeah, there's just so many interesting. Places like interesting cities to visit that you'll always like, just enjoy, experience. Everything is easy there. There's always lots of like restaurant choices. There's always lots of hotel choices. There's always exciting and interesting things to do.、Um, yeah, so I love the fact that there's so many cities here, but also such a variety of cities here. Hi guys, so I'm on my way home now. It's been a very, very busy day at work today, I must say.、Um, but I just saw out the window. I just saw this woman like riding her bike with loads of like potato, like so many potatoes hanging off the back of her bike. It was crazy.、Um, and I just thought, you know, what, actually, that's something that I kind of forgot to think about when I was talking about what I love about China. But that's something I really do love about China is that there's always something unexpected around the corner. Like you'll always go out and like see something different or unusual. That you're not used to seeing in the West, and kind of be like, oh yeah, I live in China. Like no matter what you do and what you see, like where you go, you'll always be like, there'll always be something that's different, and it's really, it makes it makes life a bit more exciting. It makes life a bit more engaging, I guess. And I think that's something I really do love about China is that everything is so different. 